welcome back to Planet J Judah. Today I'm just going to go over some things. So grab something cozy, get yourself seated and relax, and let's dive right in. Hmm. Oh man. Excuse me. I apologize. I have the sniffles. <laughs> Case in point. <laughs> Anyways, as you may already know and if you are new here you probably don't but if, if you've watched my uh, live from last Saturday you know that I have been struggling with being motivated to do literally anything let alone filming and so today I just kind of wanted to address that and kind of do a hard reset but before I do that I did make a new a new headband, a headscarf. I decided to, because I don't know if you watched my review of the facets uh, by Loops and Threads. This is this is the one I'm using that I used for this, and it is in the colorway Vivid. It is in the colorway Vivid, which is absolutely beautiful. And this yarn is really, um, really soft and very easily breakable. So when I did my review, I was not sure about it, but I decided to go ahead and, and try again because I have the yarn, so I might as well use it. And I did this and I really like it. So I might, I might make more of these. And yeah, and use this to make more of these. So anyways, back at the task, I kind of needed to do a hard reset and I just, I need to get myself motivated. I need to set an actual schedule and follow it because clearly I need to have a routine and I am not following one right now. It is so easy for me to just roll out of bed whenever and literally not do anything at all. So that being said, I'm kind of doing a hard reset and I'm adjusting how I'm going to be doing things here on Planet J Judah and when I'm going to be posting and all of that will be affected. I kind of want to have a work schedule Monday through Thursday, which is the same as Daryl's schedule. He works Monday through Thursday. That way we will have Friday, Saturday, and Sunday off together. And then also I want to drop down my video count to from four uh, to two because It has been really difficult for me to try and get stuff, excuse me, to try and get stuff figured out and, and not figured out, but planned to film and edit. And, and what I've been doing has been filming, editing, and posting within that same day. And that's just been, I've been doing all right, but that's been kind of difficult and it's hard to come up with the ideas when you're very limited on what you actually can do. I currently am not able to get out and about. Um, so doing everything from my home is, I mean, it, that's fine and I can do a lot of stuff. I do have a lot of yarn so I can utilize that. It's just finding projects that I can do within the same day. So I'm gonna, my goal is to film and edit over two days for one video, film and edit over two days for the next video, and try to have a set day for when I'm going to be uploading. I am planning on doing them on Saturday and Sunday, which I have looked into my algorithm, not algorithm, my analytics, analytics, I think that's how it's pronounced. Anyways, it's the, my channel's information, 
I can't think. And um, for the most part, my viewers watch YouTube on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. So I figured I will utilize that and post on said days. And since I'm only going to do two videos a week, preferably minimum, I'll say minimum two videos a week. And so I will do Saturday and Sunday uploads. But uh, I'll be working on working them Monday through Thursday. And also I want to try and be more creative with my editing and give you a better quality as opposed to quantity uh, content. So if I can do that, I would absolutely love doing that. And I'm learning more on my current software that I use to edit. I am, I'm really learning how to utilize it and play with it. And so, yeah, so that's something that I'm going to be trying to strive for is to give you better quality as opposed to quantity and I will have Happy Loom Knit Day. That won't go away. So one of the days, whether it be Saturday or Sunday, it doesn't really matter. Excuse me. I apologize. One of the days will be a Happy Loom Knit Day. And the other day will be more like what I'm doing today. So, but I will have fiber art content in pretty much all of my videos unless I'm doing something that specifically is not fiber art related. So um, for the most part I will be having something to do with yarn in both videos a week. I will be doing my uh, live streams every other Saturday. We just had the one this past Saturday so this today will not be uh, a live stream day, but when I next week when I have my live stream, that will not be my video for that day. It will be an addition to my video for that day. So you will always have the two regular style videos, and then on every other week, you'll have the live stream on top of the regular style video as well as possibly having, still possibly having uh, my sister or my son take over the channel and it would be Planet J. Judah La for when Lara joins and takes over the channel. Uh, and then Jared, if he so chooses to take over the channel for a video, uh, those will be additional to my normal every uh, weekend or every Saturday Sunday schedule so those will pop up every once in a while whenever uh, they may not be on Friday they may not be on Saturday or Sunday they may be on Friday or even Monday um, I will try to schedule them on days where you guys are more liable to be watching so that will be that will be that um, I am looking forward to getting back into a routine. I obviously I need the structure because this past two weeks has been really difficult mentally to get myself motivated to get up and actually do something. So I just, um, I'm looking forward to having the time to sit down and plan out my day and work on what it is that I am focusing on for that week and just doing. Um, I, I have fallen into the I'm not doing anything rut and I need to work my obviously I need a routine so I'm gonna sit down and as uh, Miss Sorry, um, Miss Crochet Queen has suggested to even schedule my TV time, you know what I mean? To not just schedule my to-do list, as in my chores or whatever, but schedule the time frame that I'm going to sit and 
watch TV or sit and play on my phone. You know, I need to, I need that structure. I need that routine. And so I'm going to do that. I'm going to sit down and I'm going to figure out what my plan is for that week and then follow through with it. So I think what I'll do starting on Monday, I will sit down and figure out what I want to do for that week's videos and figure out how I want to structure my days and then go from there. And hopefully it'll motivate me to get back into doing even possibly more. I don't know. We'll see. And as I said, I'm learning how to, I'm learning more. Gosh, my nose is stuffy. I apologize. I'm learning more on how to edit my videos and how to work with my software. So as you can hear, I am clearly speaking in the same video or the same portion of the video as when I said hello. But what you're seeing right now is not the same video. It is clearly something else. So I've learned how to unlink my audio and vis visual part of my video and create more more visual I don't know what the word I'm looking for is, but more interesting visuals with what I'm saying instead of just you watching me sit here in a chair and talk like this. So yeah, I'm, I'm excited to get back into a routine. I clearly need that structure. Excuse me. Hopefully we will be doing more than just uh, doing stuff at home because I need to be able to get out. I need to get out of the house and I need to do stuff. I think that's part of my problem is that I am home all the time. I don't go anywhere. I know a lot of it has to do with my uh, physical issues that I have and thankfully I now have insurance so I can hopefully start to work on remedying whatever it is that is affecting me to physically have these issues so that I can go out and enjoy time with my friends, family, going out on a, you know, here in, in uh, Kansas, at least where I live, the closest city that I have to utilize for shopping and whatnot is over an hour away. It's just over an hour, but still it's an hour away. And that's not with traffic. That's just straight driving. It's an hour away. So I need to be able to physically be able to do that. Excuse me. That was a weird woo woo. <laughs> Anyways, um, hopefully we will be able to get out and head out to Joplin and have fun Joplin days or whatever it may be. Go yarn shopping. That would be fun. I would love to just take you along to go to Joanne or Michael's or Hobby Lobby. I don't even know if they have Hobby Lobby. I don't remember. Oh, yes, they do. They do. They have Hobby Lobby. Um, but I would love to just go to all of them. And if I could find mom and pop type stores that are yarn related, I would love to do that. Maybe even go thrift shopping. That would be fun. I mean... I loved doing that in Reno. We had a blast going to different thrift shops. We went to Savers all the time. That was the biggest place that we were able to get. There were several of them. So we did that. So maybe we'll be able to do that in Joplin as well. Um, it would just be fun to get out and spend the day just shopping. Not necessarily buying, but shopping. And so yeah, I am looking forward to getting back to myself because I feel like I have just kind of lost who I am in the past few months and I'm tired pure and simple I am just tired I want to just be the person that I used to be and not be someone who just sits around and does absolutely nothing I will say right now is tax season so I am working on that so that can be a little frustrating and <laughs> to say the least, um, I'm, I may post 
some angry reels just because I think that would be, you know, it would relieve some of my stress. <laughs> but anyways, um, I truly hope that you enjoy <clears throat> my content from here on out and that I am truly providing a better, a better show for you to watch. So anyways, I'm going to stop talking right now. I'm going to sit down and maybe do a little crocheting or I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> we'll see. But I'm going to stop for now. So this is my permanent vision board or manifest me board that I want to um, add to, obviously, and create it, make it beautiful, make it fun, and then have uh, clothespins. I think I'm going to use clothespins, the little ones, and those will be holding my goals, whatever they may be, uh, whether they're long-term, short-term, or whatever. I will get more into that when I am doing the video for making my manifestation board. But this is where it's going to be. It's in my kitchen. As you can see, there's my living room. But I will see it every day and be able to focus on all the things that I want to create in my life. And yeah, so there's that. Well, I probably should have started this video with, I'm okay. I just needed to do a hard reset. <laughs> so I am okay. And I have projects that I wanna be doing. I'm getting excited again. I, um, oh, also when I have, I'm gonna be not just filming regular Saturday, Sunday videos. Um, I'm also going to be uh, filming long-term project videos, and so those will be extra as well, like the blanket that Lara got me for, got me the yarn for. Uh, that will be an extra video for when I get it finished. So I hope you're ex as excited as I am, and I appreciate all of you, and I thank you so much. I wouldn't be here without any of you, and yeah, I hope you're doing all right. I hope you're having a great weekend and I will see you in the next video. And remember, gravity works, guys.